this is my Fujifilm GX680 which I recently bought but I found that the, um, the battery was completely knackered and they're really expensive to get a new battery so I thought what I'll do is I'll cannibalize the old battery get the old batteries out and basically replace those with double A's and uh, see if I can get it working here's a recording of the uh, the camera in action with the with the plate and the battery pack installed my homemade version and i'm just uh, demonstrating that the camera works fine with the six double a's in there and uh, just switching the camera on selecting the shutter speed and then i'm going to fire the shutter just to show that everything's working the uh, the battery holder that i cannibalized uh, i've got the top off that i'm going to put a new cover on that just to make it look a bit neater but uh, for all intents and purposes it works fine and the camera's working really well so i've got no problem with that and because it's now using uh, double a's or rechargeable double a's i can easily add and change the batteries whenever i like so there's the battery the old battery holder there's my plug that I've added onto it so I can plug in my external battery pack. The battery pack is, is a 7.2 volt, 700 milliamp hour NiCad battery. As you can see, it's, it's a pretty ancient thing and the batteries are well overdue and uh, you'd be lucky if you get them working. I did notice there was some sort of heat sink inside the battery pack, which I took out uh, because that was stopping it from working and this is the power supply that I hooked up when I originally tried to get it working and this is the blank battery plate without the battery in it now this pin is very important because if you hook up a battery to um, the, the blanking plate this pin gets depressed when you put the blanking plate back onto the camera that pin, when it's pressed in, will do a battery check. And if it doesn't find the right batteries, it will uh, not work. So that's why I cut a slot, as you can see, in the battery holder that I've contrived from the old battery holder, so that the pin does not get compressed now when I put the new battery on it. So here's a picture of the blanking plate that uh, I've used which i've cut off the old battery um, i've just got the front plate with the contacts on it and you can see there's a slot for where that pin uh, normally goes and so it doesn't get pressed down and you can also see that it looks a bit heath robinson at the moment but obviously when i've um, manufactured some sort of case to go over the top of it it will look like a normal battery holder here's a shot of the plate installed on the camera with the connector and everything in situ it looks a bit of a mess but it will have a cover on it there's the uh, battery pack as well which when connected will power up the camera and it's working very well anyway thanks very much for watching this short video these old cameras are great and they keep working if you really want them to this is a purely electronic camera, has a fantastic lens, um, has a fantastic uh, construction to the camera. It's built like a real tank and will probably last, last many lifetimes. The only downside of it is getting hold of the batteries, hence the reason why I've uh, purchased uh, um, and made this uh, battery modification so I can now use any AA or rechargeable AA batteries I like. There are other people supplying similar packs to what I've homemade. And uh, I know there's a company on eBay that supplies them from Germany. And I think they're around 50, 60 pounds plus shipping. Anyway, I hope this might have helped some people. And it's not a big job. It's really, really easy. And uh, I just used a Dremel to open the old case and cut out the old battery. Obviously be very careful. If you liked this short video, please think about liking and subscribing to my channel where I talk about a lot of things to do with photography and other arts and crafts type things. Anyway, thanks again for watching 
and I hope to see you on the next one.